near the western tip of India, in the state of Gujarat, there exists an amazing piece of land, the Run of Kutch. In the summers, the sea water moves onto the land and covers it up completely, while during the winters, the waters recede, leaving behind stretches of white sheets that look like snow. Only, it isn't snow, but tons and tons of salt left behind by the sea waters. And herein, under the shimmering land of the run, is a city in deep slumber for over 5,000 years. A civilization waiting to be rediscovered. Tola Vira, a futuristic metropolis of the past. Discovered as recently as 1967, Dola Vira, also known as Kotara, is amongst the five largest Harappan cities. Spread over 100 acres, this model city was embraced by two stormwater runnels, the Manhar in the south and the Mansar in the north. A remarkable feature of this city was its tremendous sense of town planning. It is believed that the rulers lived in the upper town, also called as the citadel, which had majestic mansions and was fortified with huge walls. Just behind on the western side was the bailey, allotted to the people working in the citadel for the royal family. To the north of the citadel was the middle town, where the well-to-do class people must have lived, as is evident from the neat arrangement of the spacious houses. The third part of the city was the lower town, which was probably populated by ordinary people, such as potters and farmers. The different layers of bricks and constantly altering town planning tell a story of the seven stages of this metropolis. And what was unique about this ancient settlement was its water management system. Imagine a sophisticated water harnessing system of buns and dams to harness waters from the two rivulets. A channel was used to divert water from the Manhar rivulet to fill the reservoir opposite to the eastern entrance of the citadel. Imagine a whole town surrounded by reservoirs for storing more than 3,25,000 cubic yards of water. This water was then effectively diverted to adjacent reservoirs for filtration. The filtered water was connected to a well within the citadel. This well diverted the water into the step well with mud chambers, one for drinking and the other for washing. Further, this water was also let out for industrial and agricultural use. these wonderfully cut circular bases of the pillars. What kind of heavy machinery did the people use during those times? And these two pillars here, was this a gateway to welcome the gods? And these huge doors with robust locking systems? From where did the Dulavirans acquire such superb engineering skills? Questions like these still lie unanswered.
Dronavira is also known for its two open air stadiums, one of which is probably the world's oldest and the biggest, covering an area of 1,60,000 square feet. Was this a public space for religious ceremonies or an amphitheater for sports and performances? Microbeads found here makes one wonder about the kind of sophisticated instruments that must have been used to create such perfectly rounded masterpieces. These well laid out shopping places must have been thriving bazaars where merchants from across the world would have mingled and conducted business. Yet another significant discovery of Dholavira, a signboard with inscriptions, has still not been deciphered. Did these represent the name of the city? No one has been able to understand them yet. And a separate funeral site, where only objects dear to the departed souls were placed, indicates just one thing. The people of Dholavira believed in life after death. Colorful beads, human and animal terracotta figurines, decorative motifs, copper and bronze articles, fine tools, beautiful seals. All these artifacts reflect an affluently urban lifestyle of the people who lived here. For students of life, these are facets of ancient wisdom to be experienced and rediscovered in person. Wisdom that continues to live in these villages of Kutch. Knowledge that is still alive in the lifestyles of these people. Skills that continue to draw and inspire visitors from across the world. And it is all here in this vibrant land called Gujarat, a land known for its warmth and hospitality, a land where life is a celebration. Dola Vira, a futuristic metropolis of the past. <laughs>